Okay, these are, uh, this is just a rough diagram that I drew out. It's dimensions for the XL UFO wing. Uh, you can just freeze frame this and get most of the dimensions. I'll just explain it if you don't understand. So from, the, from here to this side is 34 inches. The elevons themselves are 3 inches. Okay. Um, the full length from here to the very tip would be 26 and a half inches okay the CG back uh, between 11 and 11 and a half inches from the tip to the CG okay the cutoff that I put on mine is uh, three inches across so just whatever point the three inches across I cut it off and that should be roughly nine to nine uh, nine to uh, nine and one eighth inches uh, you can go to the seat uh, flying wing CG calculator just google that and you can just put these dimensions in and come up with uh, a, C a CG if you have problems with that so from that distance back from the CG to this point to the hinge line that's the, the dimensions of the top layer okay so the bo one bottom layer is the full dimensions and the top actually there's two layers on the top okay so this part right in here um, that's two layers thick, so three layers in total. Again, so from the the tip back to the CG point, and then a straight line back to the hinge line. This gives you the dimensions. This top edge is 45, and uh, you place your equipment on uh, however you'd like it. Okay. Um, this now. That's for the guys that just wants the dimensions and they don't want to know anything else. The rest of the video is going to be, I'm just going to give you a quick once over what I've got on, on mine. So on the front, I've got my GoPro, which I like to keep in the case. Where I fly, there's a lot of water and things like that. So I'm not so concerned about crashes. I'm more concerned about moisture and stuff. But... How I attach mine is which is Velcro. I put two Velcro tabs on the bottom and Velcro strips in the back case and make a hole for the the mount part. So basically you just install it, you just shake it down and pull those Velcro strips up the back, plug in your um, video out lead and you're ready to go turn the camera on. That just goes directly to video transmitter and up to my clover leaf I've just uh, made it semi rigid uh, I've got a chain link the original chain link long range receiver uh, with an antenna and extension so my antenna is at the very back uh, it's a 30 amp speed control uh, 2200 3S battery the motor is um, a C3530 1700 turnage motor with an 8.5 prop. You can run, you know, whatever you want. You don't want to get too big. I wouldn't suggest probably anything more than a 10 inch prop because it starts really cutting into the airframe of the airplane. Because this has no carbon fiber supports. It's it's very rigid. There's you know, it has no problems that way. There's basically no flex in it. It's just uh, tape, cheap, clear tape for boxing up things. I got it from the dollar store. One of the tricks to putting the tape on, don't stretch it when you put it on. Just lay your tape down. Like don't, don't try to tension it. Because as soon as you do that, you start getting warps in the airframe. So two 9 gram servos. Simple as it goes. These fins, you can make them whatever you whatever shape you want. These are exaggerated in height. They, you could get away with a lot less than that. I like it. So line of sight, you can see it better from the side. I think it acts gives it a little more direct, directional stability too, but I'm not I'm not sure of that. I like to run it, run them right from the hinge line, basically right up to the front. Um, that's up to you. You can change your styling and do whatever you want. Um, so again, it's three layers thick on the front. This is one layer back here. 
this is three layers thick, so two layers on the step, a rough 45. I put a little bit of an angle on the nose here, on the blunt nose, so it doesn't dig in as much. And that's it. It's ready to fly. Um, you, oh, you probably see I've got tape over all of this stuff. That's, that's not necessary uh, if you're in a place where there's not a lot of moisture. Where I'm flying right now, it's, it's snowy and wintertime outside. So um, if you land in the snow, this thing's going to dig in and everything's going to get wet and short out. So I just put clear packing tape over everything. And then in the spring, you can just peel it off and you're ready to go. So I hope that helps. I hope some of you take the time to build it. It's, it's well worth it. It's a decent enough flying airplane. I mean, it's not, it's not the best by any means, but for its price and for a simple uh, airplane, um, it's a lot of fun. And it's pretty darn durable. Okay, that's it.